Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop, Gridopolis. Gridopolis is for two to four players or more, takes about 20 to 60 minutes to play, and is for ages 10 and up. In the game Gridopolis, you're basically playing a game of 3D checkers. You'll be having your own color on your side of the board, moving around either up, down, or straight forward, trying to jump over your opponent's pieces. Now there's some interesting rules as to how this works, but the idea is you'll be playing as though you're playing checkers, moving forward moving down trying to basically steal your opponent's pieces from the game if you can acquire all of your opponent's pieces you will be the winner of the game gridopolis all right let's go ahead and take a look at this family friendly and uh kid friendly game of some strategic 3d checkers gridopolis so here we have the game Gridopolis and everything that is included in the game for up to four players. As you can see, there's four different colors. You've got green, purple, blue, and yellow all the way over here in the back. Every player is going to get six to start with and you're gonna to need to build the board just like this. It's pretty simple how you build them. They're actually gonna come with pieces looking like this and you're going to put them together to make three by threes for one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven different portions here. Uh, there's going to be three levels as well. There's a bottom and a uh, bottom and a top level up here. And then there's also so these little teleporters that you're going to be placing down. There's going to be one here, one here, one right in the middle in the second section, and then two at the very bottom corners in the lower section. Everybody's going to start with their six off of the board for the most part, and uh, you're going to be then be taking uh, your turn. Now, everybody's also going to get some interesting things. As you can see, that you're going to get these guys here. Everybody's going to start with two of these, which uh, you can basically use on your turn to place in spots to block players from going, and you can't go on spaces that have these little blockers in them. So you can choose to place those down on your turn. You're also going to get two of these guys here along with two of these little things here, which you can uh, use with or without them depending on where you're placing on the board. And on your turn, you could choose to go ahead and place things like, like this little guy here as opposed to taking your turn moving. Um, but you don't have to actually attach this if you don't want to. Instead, you can go ahead and just use this like this and you can attach it to the board, thusly creating a larger board. Now, these pieces to be legal have to be uh, on top of other spaces they can't you can't simply play something like this I'll show you what you can't do you can't do this there's no piece underneath here but you can do it like this and you can go ahead and do it like this uh, thusly creating a fourth level if you want so you'll be able to utilize extra pieces in the game to make larger boards and of course I'm sure if you probably built uh, if you bought an extra copy of the game you could make even larger boards for even more players so that's kind of an interesting little touch to it uh, and on your turn it's pretty simple you're gonna take one of your pieces and you're gonna always be moving forward like you would in a game of checkers when you move forward, you can move to any of the spaces adjacent to you as long as it's forward, uh, and you can go up or you can go down. Whenever you go onto a space that has a teleporter, so for instance, if I had this guy here and he moved up to this, you then go to any other space on the board that you want, thusly negating the always moving forward rule because you can then, thus, you could probably be able to go backwards, but anyway, you can move from here to here, and then if you go from here, uh, you, can, you, you can go to the side as well. Uh, your, your objective is to jump other players' pieces. So for instance, we'll just go ahead and show you one look if we had blue and green here green is turned he could go ahead and jump over blue very simple very something something you've probably seen before in checkers however if let's say you've got a player who's let's say that blue is here and uh if you wanted to, you could uh, go ahead and, let's see, place this here. Uh, this character here can actually jump over blue and go down here, thusly removing blue from the game. So you can actually jump. Now you're able to jump either up or down and you, yeah or you can jump from uh one from like the same the same row to uh the same row so basically this is the very simple checkers rule of jumping right and then of course if you have somebody down here let's say and you are up here instead of jumping to here which is what you might think you're actually going to be jumping from here all the way down to the bottom row and then removing that middle guy from the game. And that's basically how it's going to work. Now, of course, if you can get to your opponent's side of the board, much like a game of checkers, you're going to be able to king yourself. So if, for instance, let's say that uh, Purple ended up being able to get himself over here, you would then be able to flip over your character and now you've got a king and that king will allow you to do some pretty crazy things or some rules to the, how the king works as far as the game goes, but it's similar to a game of checkers. And that's pretty much how you're playing the game Gridopolis. You can make your own customization of boards. You can either play in a full elimination game if you want by trying to eliminate everybody's play, uh, everybody's uh, characters, or you can play a timed version of the game as well. 
if you can defeat all your opponents, you win the game. All right, let me tell you what I think about Granopolis, the build and play in 3D strategy game. All right, so Gridopolis, what do I think of the game in caveats? Caveats first, as always, I'm sure you're aware now if you watch my stuff, kings can move twice. That would count as one single turn, and they can go backwards. So that can be for some really interesting and unique jumping combinations that you can get away with with the king. Whenever you move on a teleporter space, you can't move to any space. I illustrated it correctly, but I said it incorrectly. You will move to a teleporter space, and then you can move to any other teleporter space. Whether they are behind or in front of you is up to you as how you want to play that. And of course, chain dump jumping is allowed for the regular pieces, provided you're always moving forward, whether it be up or whether it be down or simply straight in front of you. And that's pretty much how the game is played. Now, obviously, as you can see, there are uh, different games, and there's a quick start guide here as to how you can go ahead and set up the board, and depending on the number of players, how many different uh, how many different ways you can set the board up, and the different types of games you can play. It has a bunch of more designs for the game when you play with more players, uh, adding more games, explaining how the hyper pads work, and how king jumping works. Quite a lot involved in uh, a little uh, 3D checker style game. Now, is this as complicated as 3D chess? No, no, no. And thank goodness for that, because that game blows my mind. I like chess, but there's no way I'm going to be able to remember how to do the strategy for that kind of game. However, this one is nice. It feels great with four players, too, because you're going around, moving around. Kids are going to love this game, because it adds a little element of Legos. It gives you a game that you've played before, like checkers, so it'll work with adults as well, good for families. And then it adds an element of uh, the creativity, being able to make your different boards and then of course when you start playing the game utilizing the pieces uh, that you have in front of you to basically make additional layers following rules is nice as well there's a mathematical aspect to this game that most kids won't realize as they're placing down these pieces how they're going to place them down in terms of how they're going to be able to utilize them later in the game really really cool really unique and inventive as well the colors are vibrant the pieces are really high quality the box is a nice quality as well it's nice and big and holds everything Thing you're going to need to play the game and gives you a good understanding of how the game is played. A uh, critique on the game I would give is for some people like myself, it's hard to remember how jumping works. For some reason you want to, if you're on the second level and there's another person on the, if, you got, if you're right here and there's an, another guy up here, you're not going to be able to jump over that guy like that. It has to always be from, uh, from the lower level, jumping over the guy on the second level and then moving yourself to the third level or vice versa, as well as going just, a, just jumping like a normal checker is. For some reason, reason my mind just has a hard time doing that. I, I got it after the first game, it started to sink in a little more, but for a kid I could imagine it being a little complex for them as well. But I think that's also a good aspect of the learning process. It's actually not as complex as maybe I'm making it sound, but for some reason my brain doesn't want to, to figure that out. But overall, it's a good game. This is a really nice, solid kids family strategy game. It's going to harken back to those classical games of chess and checkers and a, add a Lego and strategic twist to it as far as making your own boards. Of course, if you have a lot of kids, picking up two games is going to be really cool because you're going to be able to make some crazy boards where you can just play as long as you make them all symmetrical. You could play with a bunch of people having a lot of good, uh, a lot of good memories, I think, with this game. I enjoyed this game for what it is. Strategical board gamer specifically for most of the games I probably normally review that aren't family and kid friendly may or may not steer away from this type of a game. Now, if you have kids, I'd suggest it, but if you're looking at playing something more like Kingsburg, this probably is not going to be your cup of tea. Maybe something that is uh, a, a little more uh, abstract, right? Some abstract gamers are going to enjoy this. But overall, families, kids, are gonna dig this game, and if you got them, I definitely suggest taking a look at Gridopolis, a game of uh, 3D building and uh, creative concepts. All right, if you're interested, Take a look down below. In the description, you can go ahead and pick up the game Gridopolis right now.